What's up guys, welcome to the video. Just before I start this video, I've just, just actually finished filming this video. I just wanted to mention this video gets quite quite deep, quite raw, quite honest. Um, so make sure you stay watching till the end. Uh, if you've ever watched, if you've never watched any of my videos all the way through to the end, maybe you've lost focus a bit, this is when you need to watch to the end. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, hit the subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited to be bringing you this video today. I know I say that every video, and that's how I like to start the video, but I really mean it today. Um, I've had one of the most common things I've had asked of me over the last year is how did I allow myself to get so big? Um, for anyone who doesn't know, when I started this triathlon journey, this journey to Ironman back in April 2019, I was 26 stone, 26 stone and two pounds exactly was the, the highest I remember it on the scales. Um, so that's massive. Uh, for someone who's only 23 years old um, and it obviously is massively limiting on your life uh, and you know you have you have limitations and there's loads of things that it so the question that people have asked me is how did I allow myself to get that big now to, to go into that properly I want to go back to April the 27th 2015 now this was the day after the 2015 London Marathon which I was fortunate enough to race I actually that week for anyone who doesn't uh, no, who wasn't following me around that time or hasn't heard since I at that week building up to that I actually ran six marathons in my hometown of Stroud uh, from Monday to Saturday Drove down to London early on the Sunday morning and ran a seventh marathon uh, To at just an age 19. I ran seven marathons in seven days uh, Raising money for Bernardo's. I think I raised about five thousand um, Five thousand uh, five thousand pounds for them um, so I want to take you, I'm not going to go into that too much, that's a story on its own, if people want that video I can do that, uh, it's definitely on the radar, but I want to go into the day after that, and this is where, it was a crossroads for me, you know, you, if I could go back to that day, I would change things massively, because I, rem I remember the day quite well, I did some press stuff with some local newspapers uh, who wanted to run a story on the week I just had, and I just, I don't know what happened in my head that day, uh, and over the, the months after that, but I was this person who at such a young age was so, I was so mature, I was so committed and so dedicated to what I was doing with my running. And, um, you know, and then I just, it felt like I peaked too early maybe with doing the seven marathons. I had this massive blow up and I wasn't, I wasn't mentally strong enough to, to control that. I mean, my post that I wrote on Facebook after I finished the seventh marathon, uh, went went viral. Uh, I think it had about 5,000 likes on it and reached sort of like 20,000 people read that post um, You know, and, I, and people in the local area knew knew a lot about it I had people on the sixth day had people come out and cheer me cheer me along You know in my hometown and I wasn't strong enough to handle that and people were like, you know What's next? What's next? What's next? And really I think if I could go back to that I would I would focus on recovery more I would focus on Starting again, getting the getting the foundations of my life back again, and re really building again, and looking forward. Whereas my idea was right, the natural progression is ultra marathons. So I already I committed that the next year I was going to do a 12-hour challenge uh, unofficially, um, where I would run 12 hours and then I try and enter a 24-hour race. Uh, I did the 12-hour challenge the next March. By this point, I was already well out of well out of where I needed to be in terms of not necessarily in terms of fitness. I mean, I did 12 hours and ran 47 miles, which isn't bad, um, but I was well out of my rhythm. I was not committed at all to the training. The training wasn't consistent and things started to go wrong from there. And I did the 12 hour challenge on March the 19th, 2016. On March the 23rd, I uh, was given the Stroud Town Young Person of the Year Award. Um, which was another thing that maybe got to my head a bit. Ultimately, I, I, I think I just I lost focus of what I was doing, where I was pushing for, um, and I just yeah I wasn't I wasn't strong enough to control where I was and stay committed to what I was doing in my training and stuff. So, and then I just started eating rubbish. Also, to add with the fact that my body was so broken after doing the seven marathons and then going into the um, the twelve hour challenge a year later, I didn't recover properly in between. I should have given myself a bit of. Uh, um, recovery time and then built up again I just didn't I just tried to train through and very inconsistently um, so I it fell apart really and so I, was, I had an injury um, I did my ankle I had a knee injury um, and I never really got 
got fully fit for the next year, 18 months, and I was eating bad. And I, within the next year, by the time I did the 12-hour 12 12 hour challenge, I'd probably already put on a stone. And you know, so I was about 15 stone when I did the seven marathons in seven days. I was probably about 16 or 17 by the time I did the 12-hour challenge. Just, I'm just looking at that based on photos because I didn't need to weigh myself at the time. And and then it and then it was even worse. I I then decided I was going to go and do a triathlon in 2017, and I did. I signed up for an Olympic triathlon. The ultimate mistake I've ever made was doing that because although I did get through the swim, I was miles out the back. Um, you know, I, I couldn't swim. I couldn't put my head under the water and swim like I can now. I was so, I was this person who just thought they could do anything. And, and I was so caught up in this, like, wow, I'm fit. I can go and do anything. And so I did this triathlon. And I, I did the swim, half of the bike, pulled out. And the race director said to me that I could go and do the run if I wanted to. So I did the run. Um, but, but I basically pulled out of the bike because I'd missed the cut massively. And uh, people had I think I was the last person on the bike by the time I did the first loop, let alone the fact that people had done two loops. So, so I did pull out of that, and yeah, this. And then from 2017 till 2019 was the worst thing ever. It was, I was stuck in this. I was eating awful, eating absolutely awful. And to couple with that, I mean, I'd already started having issues with anxiety when I was running, uh, partly because I knew I was getting less fitter. All the, I was losing fitness all the time, being more unhealthy. Uh, is eating absolute crap and and then I started getting these anxiety issues where I'd go out for a run and my heart would just be pounding out of my chest I'd be shivering I'd be having full-blown panic attacks and I did do a half marathon my local half marathon Stroud half marathon in 2017 and I finished in over three hours and I was so much better than that but that was a sign of where I was anxiety wise and fit and not even fitness wise because I'll get onto that in a second, but anxiety-wise, I completely lost my head that day. I shivered the whole way around, had a massive panic attack all the way through, and and that was it was anxiety, but it was partly my like a lot of people's anxiety isn't to do with their own fault. Um, people have anxiety just because that's it's inside of them. But for me, I I lost control of myself, and because I was losing my fitness, and I knew my I knew I was slowly falling out of, or quite quickly falling out of rhythm with my life that that the anxiety was getting on top of me and yeah so October uh, 2017 I did the Stroud half marathon over three hours it was by far and away my slowest half marathon and then but a week later I was like I gotta go I gotta go and do something I gotta go and find a half marathon I can't end the year like that I went down to Western Supermare and did the Western Supermare half marathon or I think they call it the Great Great Western uh, half or something like that um, and and I did that about 35 minutes faster than the week before. That's a sign of anxiety. Like you shouldn't be able to do that two weeks apart. Like there's no way I was 35 minutes quicker. I wasn't ill the week before. I didn't have any big issues or, you know, it, nothing went wrong apart from the anxiety, but I managed to control it that day a week later. So the anxiety was an issue. The injuries, the fact my body wasn't performing right, the fact I was eating crap, it all sort of, uh, it was a vicious circle and yeah, I was completely out of control of myself, had no control on my life, had no discipline, uh, I wasn't driven, I wasn't aiming for anything, I just thought I could do anything. I just thought I could do anything without training, that was that was me. And it's, uh, you know, I'd love to go back and change these things, but uh, you can't now, you can just learn from it. And so that from that half marathon on, I didn't do another one. I did a 10K in 2018, but you know, it, it wasn't, wasn't anything special. Um, and I basically didn't do anything until I started this triathlon journey. And from September or October 2017 to when I started in 2019, honestly, I must have put on seven stone in that time in 18 months. And my diet at times was awful, absolutely awful. I remember times where if you'd have come up to me and said, when did you last eat a piece of fruit or a vegetable or cook anything uh, fresh rather than eating a takeaway or fast food or whatever, I wouldn't be able to tell you. There was times in my life where I would probably be in 10 to 12 takeaways slash fast food uh, in a week. You know, that's a, an average of two a day, you know, whether it be a go and get breakfast and then, you know, have a pizza at night or whatever. It was absolutely awful. I was completely out of control of myself. And yeah, I mean, completely, completely out of control. No discipline on myself. And it was just, it was going on to, you know, the weight was coming on so fast so fast massively fast and I, I wish I could go and change that because I was probably at very serious risk of, of uh, health issues you know I, you, I probably went from 19 stone to 26 stone in 18 months and that's an insane amount of weight to be putting on 
and um, you know I, like I keep saying I, I wish I could go back and change that because I could have caused myself some real issues um, by doing that but that, that's the way I was at the time and and I remember the doctor did I did go to the doctor for the anxiety issues and um, I was I was getting quite depressed at the time as well but and they did give me some antidepressants which didn't really work for me and I'm, I'm saying that honestly they didn't totally work for me because they made me feel worse about myself the fact that I was needing help um, if you do have your own issues then it absolutely go and try them you know they work for loads of people they do help loads of people that's just my personal uh, opinion on, on my personal feelings towards them was that it made me feel rubbish because I know I needed help so I didn't stay on them for very long and something I quickly realized was the fact that I wasn't actually I, I didn't have depression I was just quite depressed because of who I who I was at the time um, thankfully I managed to sort myself out and you know, I'm just going to go a little bit into how I did turn it around. I'm, I'm not going to do that completely because I want to spread that over a few videos and not completely clog this video with information. But, you know, when a year ago when I decided to head on to this journey and start losing weight and sorting my life out, um, you know, I, I'd had a period of sort of six months where I couldn't get settled in a job, probably because I wasn't performing very well as a job in my job as a chef because I was so big. Uh, I couldn't stay on my feet all day. I, I needed breaks. Um, and you know it comes with a job that you just don't always get breaks you know, as a chef you can be on your feet from nine o'clock in the morning sometimes earlier until 10 11 o'clock at night sometimes later um, and you just don't get these breaks so a year ago I, I decided it was time to change and I needed something big I'm something I also want to talk about is you hear this this phrase go around of I have an addictive personality you hear people say this I actually heard Lionel Sanders who's a for anyone who doesn't know, he's a professional triathlete, one of the best in the world at Ironman distance and half Ironman distance. And he's described himself as that he was a alcoholic and a drug addict, uh, and he managed to take the addiction from, from alcohol and drugs and turn it into Ironman and triathlon and get addicted to this. And I'm similar. I mean, I was ne I've, never, I've never taken a drug in my life and I've never ever been addicted to alcohol, but I've been, I have been addicted to food, clearly, you know, uh, whether or not someone's diagnosed me as that or, or what you know there's something wrong with you to eat that much that much bad food you know in such a short space of time and to be able to constantly do that to yourself um, and so I I've thrown myself into uh, into Iron Man now and I'm I am a, you know I, I don't do things by halves um, go back to the seven marathons in seven days no one no one advised me to do that I didn't need to go and do that but I need something big I need big goals and I I need I need something that can completely get into my head and control me and make me drive for something um, and Iron Man is that and thankfully I've managed to turn myself around I'm now uh, so close to losing five stone I've said that for the last few videos it is a little bit slow the last few weeks uh, in terms of weight loss it, you know your body your body will lose weight as it wants to I'm not pushing it to do anything I'm just sticking to my my few core um, ideas and my, uh, what's the word I'm looking for my few core I don't know what the word is. I'm sticking to my sticking to my guns in terms of my diet and making sure I'm doing the things that I'm that I've done for the last year, and it will come off. Um, I've had a little bit of a bug the last couple of days. I haven't been training. Um, not not a bug, a bit of a cold and body aches and things just with the time of the year and stuff and the extra training I've been doing. Um, my body's not appreciated so much, so I'm catching up from that. But you know, I'm so glad that I managed to turn myself around and. I hope I made this video. I've been trying, you know, I've been trying to I've put, been putting this video together for so long. I've, what I do with my videos is I, I, I write out a video idea into my notes on my phone and I gradually add little notes to that, like what I want to talk about. I think I scrapped that completely because I wanted this video, video just to come from my heart and to be um, completely, completely raw and honest. And yeah, I mean, obviously not necessarily the easiest video to make, not uh, happy or positive subject to talk about particularly but I wanted to I wanted to get this out there as I said I've had a, you know a lot of people say to me how did you let that happen how did you get so big and go from someone who had so much potential you know at age 19 running the, those marathons and being super fit and how did you go from that to 26 stone so I just wanted to explain it to you if it helps anyone who anyone who's maybe on a little bit of a downward spiral like I was hopefully it can help you and you know you might be able to work out yourself that you're in a bit, bit of an addictive personality and you can go and change that um, by throwing your addiction at something else and yeah man I'm so happy just to be to be on the right path again and pushing and now 12 weeks away from my first triathlon of the year um, cannot wait cannot wait life's looking up everything's looking up happy as hell 
and yeah so glad i'm on this journey i love it, doing the youtube keep supporting me keep leaving the comments it means the world to me i hope you guys have enjoyed the video i'll see you next one